So sometimes in a second order OD equation, we're already given one solution. In this case, it tells us that the first solution is x squared to the second order homogeneous OD. Now, one, there's always one key buzzword which we always need to think of when we need to find a second solution. And that is the Ron skin. So it's spelled like that, Ron skin. Okay. Now this Ron skin is used to obtain a second solution and also to transform a second order OD into a first order OD. Okay, so this is the key idea, to transform a second order to a first order if you already have a solution. Okay, and that super simplifies the problem. Now, what are the two definitions of a Ron skin? Well, the first definition is simply the determinant between two of your supposed solutions. So in this case, since we know y1, we can say that according to this formula, if y1 is here, then the first derivative can be obtained here. And then y2 and then the first derivative can be obtained as well. The other definition of Ronskin is simply an integral, where px is the coefficient of y prime, so minus 3x, over the coefficient of y prime prime, 2x squared. So let's put this one to practice for a second, yeah? And let's go ahead and think about how to do this. So to solve this kind of question, we need to simply equate the Ronskins, yeah? So using the first definition, we have the determinant of y1, which is x squared, and its derivative, which is 2x. And now, for the, for the purpose of just making it look easy, we're going to just call y2y, yeah? Because it's the only y variable left. And its derivative will be y prime. Now, this is going to equal the second Ronskin equation. And for simplicity, again, we're going to set c to equal 1, yeah? Because it's not going to have a big impact. And this is going to equal now the exponential of minus the integral. And for the px variable, well, px is simply the coefficient of y prime over the coefficient of y double prime. So in other words, minus 3x over 2x squared, and then dx. Now, it doesn't look so bad, does it? When you solve this one, you're going to get first order OD, and then you can find that you can solve that first order OD and get a solution. So now we've got all our pieces in place, so this equation is nicely lined up. What do we do? So let's go ahead and evaluate this, yeah? So on the, on the left-hand side, we've got a, a 2 by 2 matrix, which and we need to compute its determinant. So determinant simply means we're going to do x squared times y prime minus y times 2x. Doing that is simply x squared y prime subtract 2xy. So far, it looks like a first order OD, isn't it? And now on the right-hand side, we need to compute this integral. Well, just pulling this over to the side here, yeah, the integral bit only, which is... Um, and oh yeah, because you've got double minus a positive sign. Is going to be 3x over 2x squared dx. Well, we can go ahead and simplify the, uh, this equation. The x's here cancel out, so x here and x here disappear. We're left with 3 over 2x times dx. And then simplifying this further, we can we can realize that 3 over 2 is a constant, so that goes outside the integral. So it'll be 3 over 2 integrate 1 over x dx. And this is simply 3 over 2 times the natural log of x. So 1 over x is always ln x, by the way, guys. So putting this all back into the equation, we now got e to the positive 3 over 2 ln x. Okay, so far so good. And then, um, yeah, now we just simplify this equation entirely. So one thing to note, when you got 3 over 2 times ln x, this becomes a power, yeah? So I should have said over here, it should be ln x to the power of 3 over 2. It's one of the properties of logs, yeah? So therefore, you, you're now going to have e, time, e to the power of ln x to the power of 3 over 2. e and ln cancel out, and you, this simply reduces to x 3 over 2. Okay, so far so good. Now, what we have here is a first order OD, guys, yeah? So we're practically almost done. So, so far, we just transformed a second order to a first order. So that's one, that's one thing done. Now, in order to actually get the second linear independent solution and the general solution, we need to solve this first order OD. Okay, so this is going to be like another working out. So to begin with, in order to solve this, we need to firstly rewrite this in a form where y prime hasn't got something in front of it. So the x squared needs to move. To do that, we need to divide the whole equation by x squared. Doing so, you're going to get y prime minus, so 2x over x squared. The x is cancelled out, you're just left with 2 over x and then y x to the 3 over 2 divided by x squared well subtract the powers 3 over 2 minus 2 is minus a half so it's just going to be x to the minus half okay now we go ahead and solve this equation yeah so i'm going to make a fresh page now guys okay guys so we're back 
So here's our first order OD and here's the general form. And in the top right corner, we have one of the general solutions. We're trying to get a second. So to solve this first order OD, which takes the form we want, we need to firstly compute the integrand factor here. Yeah? So the integrand factor, which we call lambda x, is simply kind of like the Ronskin. It's e to the power of the integral px again, dx. But this px is not the same as the previous px. This px is now this one here, which is minus 2 over x, yep. Yeah? So updating this is going to be e to the integral, so taking the negative out, minus the integral of 2 over x dx, okay? Simple. And the solution this one is just e to the negative 2 ln x, because, what, because the integral of 1 over x is the natural log. And tidying this up, you can put minus 2 as a power of x, so e to the ln x to the power of negative 2, and finally, once again, the e and ln cancel out, so we get x to the negative 2. Okay, so now we found integrand factor. This means that a general solution for first order OD, which is yx, equals um, 1 over the integrand factor times um, the integral. So this is fixed formulas, guys. Your last term, which is qx, times your integrand factor dx, and then you should get a constant plus c. Okay? Now, subtune everything back in. We're going to get 1 over lambda x, so 1 over the integrand factor is just one is just x to the power of positive 2 times the integral of uh, qx, which is, uh, where's qx? Uh, qx is over here, yep. x to the minus half times um, lambda x, which is x to the negative 2 dx. So, yeah, so that's really it. It's just like, um, we just need to evaluate this. Now, just tidying up these things here, when you multiply things with the same base, you add the powers. So, minus half add minus 2, I think it's minus 5 or 2 in it. So we're going to simply have uh, x squared times the integral of x to the minus 5 over 2 dx plus c, guys. And that's it. Evaluating this one shouldn't be too bad. Um, integrating this bit, let me just write below here. Can I go down? Nope, can't. So when you integrate this, you just raise the power up by 1, so it's going to be x to the minus 3 over 2 divided by itself, minus 3 over 2. Which is the same as, well, I'll tidy it over here, which is the same as x squared times, um, this is simply minus 2 thirds, x minus 3 over 2, plus c. Okay, I think we're almost done, isn't it? So, at this stage now, we can actually see our general solutions. So, expanding the brackets here, you're going to have x squared times all of this lot. God, what is that? So, you be you add the power, so 2 plus 3 over 2. 2 plus minus 3 over 2, that's just, uh, that's x to the half, isn't it? So it'll be minus 2 thirds x to the half plus, and then c times x squared. Okay, and since our general solution apparently is um, x squared, this means that this part here, which is one of the solutions, is y1. That means this part here must be y2. So in this case, c equals 1, yeah, to make x squared. And therefore, y2 must be these lot here. And that's it guys, um, I hope this video helped and you got what you wanted. Uh, it's quite a long question, isn't it? But yeah, give me your comments guys and let me know if there's any other um, OD problems you want me to work on, yeah? I can publish the videos as soon as I can. But other than that, have a nice day and I'll chat to you guys soon. Ciao.